So we're here again doing another video. We are doing some lunar imaging and we're gonna do it with two different telescopes, same camera. So one big telescope, the C11, and uh, one small telescope, the FRA500 from ASCAR. And we'll uh, both times use the same planetary camera. And I think it's going to be interesting to kind of compare the field of view between a small telescope, which is a small refractor, mm -hmm. a beginner telescope, and a big, big, big C11. So just for fun, let's see uh, how it goes and if we can um, compare the two. So first we're gonna be using the big telescope uh, on the moon right there. So we're going to slew it to the moon and then see what we can get. I think we'll maybe image two areas and um, there should be enough to compare. Okay, so we found the moon finally. Now I just have to focus. Let's try. It's kind of hard with the manual focus, but... And um, let's go ahead and go into 4K mode. We'll do 4K for each telescope, so it's the same field of view. And as you can see here, with this big telescope, um, it's all... like you cannot even see the moon at all. I mean, the whole moon, there's no way. No way. Because the telescope is just so big. I didn't even recognize what it was at first. So if we can move around uh, the mount here, let's try to find um, the edge of the moon. Never get tired of looking at the moon. Let's find like two areas where we can shoot for both telescopes. So the first one we can do... That's always fun. Yeah, let's do that one. So for the, for the first area, let's try to center this okay and let's try to image that one uh, for three minutes so i'll do lower gain maybe and why do you want to do lower gain because if your gain is too high the thing is the lower your exposure the better because the lower your exposure the more frame per second you're getting but for a lower exposure it gets darker so you have to make your gain higher but if you make your gain high too high you will have some areas like here way too white, yeah. overblown. So I think this is okay. Um, so let's go ahead and, and do a capture here. We'll do 5,000 frames, so we'll know for sure it's gonna be the same for both. So after a few minutes of capturing the video with the FPS hovering between 20 and 50 frames per second, this is the stacked image. As you can see, a very beautiful close-up shot of so many craters on the moon. We took two more just to compare a bit more and here are two other shots with the same telescope so two different areas and also the edge of the moon and now it is time to switch to our small telescope so i placed the ascar fra 500 on the mount removed the useless counterweight now and placed the camera on the back and now it was time to slew to the moon again and take a picture with that Okay, so now I can aim at the moon. Now it's much easier because the field of view is much wider. So very simple to find. I'm gonna go back to 4K and now just have to fix the gain, exposure time and the focusing. And so here, as you can see, we can have the whole moon fit perfectly fine at you know, the same 4K resolution. So with this uh, white telescope, it's really nice to have the whole moon. Uh, it, it's much easier to capture, of course, uh, without having to look for craters and all that. So if you want to really just have a, a quick picture of the moon uh, as a whole, a small telescope will really help with that. If you move around, yeah, you can see the whole moon moving here. So it's really cool. So I'll just take a picture of this and uh, then we'll compare with the pictures of the big telescope. And so here you can see the picture of the moon with the small telescope, and it fits perfectly in the field of view, which is actually a good thing for most people. So this was a fun video to make. Uh, as you can see, both telescopes uh, produce great images. Of course, if you want a close-up view of the moon, you will need a big telescope. By the way, if you're wondering if you just zoom in and crop the image, from the small telescope and have something similar to the big telescope, the answer is no, because as you can see here, the whole point of having a big telescope is to keep all the details uh, even at those huge focal lengths. So as you can see here, the, the difference is huge between zooming in on the small telescope and just having a regular 
uh, view not zoomed in on the big telescope. So if you're planning to add a planetary camera to your telescope and expect something like this depending on what focal lens you're using, uh, just know that not all planetary cameras have the same field of view. That depends on the pixel size. So be sure to use a program like Stellarium or Sky Safari to simulate what your field of view will look like using your specific telescope and the camera you plan to use. And we have several different reviews about planetary cameras that you can check out if you want. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was a fun video. And we'll see you guys next time, and close guys.